Well, I thought I would uh, do a little follow-up video to the last one I did. Uh, gap, I'm calling it. Go Cal Method, Alexander Technique, so as Release Party. Go Cal Method. You know, it's not just if you're in back pain, it's how to be, it's how to get enlightened, it's how to be mindful, it's how to be present, how to be self-actualized, how to do things with more fun, grace, joy, energy, self-realization. I like this little book. Uh, Jonathan Fitzgordon. I think he's really good. I'm sure there's a lot more for me to learn, but I've gotten into it. I've got more to go. So, he, you know, and he definitely talks about, what I'm going to talk about now is, Jesus called constructive rest. We have an Alexander, but he's in there. It's a lot of people use it. Sometimes known as active rest or semi-supine or the Alexander lying down position. It's an extremely effective self-help tool for our Alexander Technique students and for anyone else who wants a simple practical way of releasing excess tension from their body. It's the best way of getting in touch with your it, you know, everything to do with the back, the neck, the head, the shoulders, the arms, the, uh, the uh, psoas muscles, etc., etc., etc. There's a lot, you could speak on this for hours, and there's a lot of good stuff online, there's a lot of good stuff on YouTube, but other places too, a lot of good stuff. And, I could maybe go through this again. I probably need to do a little brushing up. I'll try to touch them. More or less what I've done, what I do. Uh, there's a lot more out there than even what I've explored. But basic idea, I, I like lying on the floor. It's a little work to get down there, but if you don't have a table set up, it's less work. Main point is that it's so hard and firm that it really helps you. It, the softer it is, the less you can feel things that you want to be feeling, really. But it's it's no not that big a deal. You can do it in your bed. You can do it anywhere. I'm going to do it on this table just to help with the filming of it and make it easier to get nothing down. Uh, there's a whole lot of movements. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to get into all the movements. I think I'm probably just going to emphasize the not moving side of it which is whatever we'll see where i go but usually i don't even get to the movement parts even though they're great and fantastic i, I get so much out of just sitting there not moving that i i can't swallow it all but anyway i think almost all of the Parties will, not all of them, but in Alexander we put a little book, maybe about this size, under our head. I think a lot of them use that technique. Some of them maybe not, but that's uh, one aspect. Another aspect is your legs. Your legs are more on the best in this position. This is a slippery surface. My feet want to slide. It's not perfect. You know, it'd be better if I had no socks on and I wouldn't slide. I'd be happier. I still slide, but not like I was. It's a question of how wide and how far out you put your feet. It's pretty easy to say how wide because. If you get too wide, your legs start falling inward. If you get too narrow, your legs start falling outward. 
the spot where they fall either inward or outward is perfect. This part, you know, it's better on carpet and white. If it doesn't slide, it's better. Uh, it's just wherever it's comfortable. So maybe, I mean, in Alexander, we'll, a lot of times we'll start with the head and we'll start with movement. There's a lot of movement, just very subtle, slow, easy movement, just moving my head back and forth, thinking all the time my head is going toward that wall. And maybe even thinking that my neck is going to kind of drop down, this curve in my neck is going to flatten out. That's a lot, you know, that's a whole ball game. I, I just kind of wanted today to you do more on the psoas muscle or kind of, the whole thing's a ball. There's lots of things you can do. This is very, very, I've done a lot of this. Just lay like that. Takes your back against the floor. And that's very powerful. It gives you just kind of a little perfect way to work with yourself. Your back is dropping down like you want it to drop down. You get a little stretch in here that's kind of good. Uh, a lot of times what I do is I just go where the pain is. I've probably got pain in my back at all times, or, but it's really tension. So I just go, this, this points to where the tension is. It's, this is almost like, you know, boredom meditation. You know, there's nothing to do. You're just laying here. You can get into your breath. You can get into a million things, but... If we're talking about back pain, why don't we just get into where the back pain is and put our attention there and, we, and we'll begin to work through that back pain very quickly. I mean, you 